Okay, we're gonna do a little tour of uh, uh, YouTube DL. I'm on a Linux Gen 2 system, and this is the album here. I'm gonna grab. I already own this album, so uh, it's actually easier for me to download stuff rather than transfer everything over by CD. But um, so I actually do do this a lot. But uh, I go to the Discogs to get the album art and uh, usually check track listings. Um, and here we're gonna uh, let's first we'll just create the folder and it's turnstile. Uh, let me double check. 2015, okay. I'm gonna create that. And I have this up here. This is um, my, uh, my bash RC file. And I actually made a shortcut, this uh, capital YTM. And this is the exact command that I would use to uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to choose the best audio and the best quality and then it's going to format that audio into mp3 um, then uh, ex extract the audio from the video and then it's going to output it and it's going to it's going to out this is out putting uh, the playlist and um, it's going to use two digits before the title um, I'll show you how it works here but I go here and I'm going to change directories into that turnstile and it's non-stop alright and then YTM and I just chose that for uh, YouTube music download. Um, now I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy the link. See with index 1. You always want to start with the index 1 link. So the first video. And oops. I'm going to put that in. And actually goes pretty quick. So this will be um, there's 12 of them that's going to go through. See, first it grabs the audio, and it's a, a .dot uh, .webm file, and then it, it changes it to an MP3 file, and then after it's done changing it, it deletes the webm file. But while that's happening, we're going to go back over here. We're going to get the cover art and save image of. And I like to save it as cover. So cover.jpg. Trim that R12 here too far. Let's see if that looks, looks about right. Okay. It's on the last one now. Okay, it's finished. So uh, then, what I do is I open this easy tag I downloaded. Uh, well, this is a pretty cool program. So go to no nonstop feeling, and I just Control A, and that selects everything. I put in the ida or into the I put in the artist turnstile. I can talk and then non stop feeling, and it's 2015. Now, if you hit this little AB beside it, that's going to put, let me show you, this will put the date on, on all of them. So, I did that. Now, if I hit that here, see, it fills it all in. Um, and I like throwing the, 
throw a genre on here. Okay. Let's see how to that. And you go to image, add image, and then this will add it to every to every file since they're all selected. Um, and then I go back here, and then this this saves all your changes. Okay, so it saved all those changes, but now I, I want to change all this. So I don't want the audio there. Um, Actually, I kind of like to get rid of that turnstile, too. Good. Usually dependent on how the, the source that you're downloading from uh, and how the titles are. Normally this goes a little quicker. Normally this audio tag isn't on there. some of those that are like the official video you might want to check sometimes there's added audio and videos that aren't in the actual album so And you can check, like, if you open it with MP. <laughs> if you open it with M MPV, it'll normally show if, um, like, the album art's downloaded. Or is, it, or is it in the tag? Um, yeah, it's... Normally I can get one of these done before the second song finishes if I'm
Two or four songs, right? That's something else too. I always hit. Uh, see if you just hit this, it puts it, it'll put the tracks on. But if you hit that, it puts uh, one of four, four of four, which actually works out kind of nice. Like um, on a phone or whatever, it'll it seems to keep keep them together better. I don't know. See, you know, it shows up up top with my tags. If I didn't have the tags on right, it wouldn't, it wouldn't show up here. But that's it. U2DL. Alright. Appreciate it. Peace out. You can't see me anymore You're not behind the tightest door